This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. I'm Evan Millward. Here's a look at some of the top stories at this hour. An Indiana murder suspect has been picked up in Cleves, part of a motorcycle gang now charged with killing a Georgetown, Kentucky man. Hamilton County Sheriff's deputies arrested David Faulkner last night on West Porter Street. Indiana State Police say he and four others were involved in a shootout last week in DuPont. ISP says the members of the motorcycle gang targeted the property because a non member was seen wearing their patches and tattoos. According to the Jefferson County prosecutor, the shootout left Dustin Lindner, one of the suspected gang members who participated in that raid, dead. Lindner's four suspected accomplices are all charged with murder, attempted burglary and robbery. A fourth suspect also faces charges of assisting a criminal. Former Reds pitcher Trevor Bauer is reportedly under investigation for assault. The Cy Young winners now with the Dodgers. According to several reports, a judge in L.A. has granted a woman a temporary restraining order against Bauer. His agent denies the allegations, saying the two had a brief and consensual sexual relationship and that he has messages showing the woman wanted aggressive sex. Fans of sports betting are going to have to wait in Ohio. A measure to legalize it won't hit Governor Mike DeWine's desk today for a signature as its supporters had hoped. We're told it will now be a top priority in the fall. Lawmakers had been confident they could get sports betting through by today. But Speaker of the Ohio House Bob Cup put the brakes on the bill last week. He wanted to hold his own hearings on it. A bill banning public schools and universities from requiring students and staff be vaccinated against COVID-19 is though headed to the governor's desk. Last minute changes made it so that schools wouldn't be able to require a vaccine that doesn't have full FDA approval like the three current COVID-19 vaccines. It would not apply though to private schools and universities. Another day, another chance of rain and storms, Sherry. Yeah, we've got a few dry hours and then the storms later this afternoon and into the evening. Some gusty winds, also hail and also heavy rain with these storms that could be on the stronger to severe side. It's all ahead of a cold front. That front's going to stall out over the Ohio Valley, so it keeps the chance of rain in the forecast tonight, and it keeps the chance of rain in the forecast for us as we go through the day on Thursday. But we are going to dry out behind that and see temperatures fall from the 80s today into the 70s as we head into the holiday weekend.